you guys would want to go on a family vacation to North Korea. Okay, you guys said that um, a guy apparently stole, like, I don't know, a portrait from a hotel or something, and then he got beat up and stuff. But it's just like a regular hotel. Um, if you, if there's like a painting on the wall and you take it, of course they're gonna like what put you in jail for like one day or something. Of course there's gonna be consequences. Yeah, but but, but do you think anybody would give you brain damage when you're in jail <laughs> or in prison? Like, think about it. You take a poster, good, you're gonna get detained. But but think about it. Who's gonna beat you up? and give you brain damage and return you to your Quite well taken, but most prisoners also suffer mental damage and are going mental, mentally crazy because they're stuck there 24 seven. He is known on social media for his nukes. Would you wanna um, have a family vacation <laughs> on an area where people um, call this specific man, Kim Jong-un, known for his nukes? You know what's also known for nukes? United States, and guess what? The United States is a really safe country. And just because one country has a lot of nukes doesn't mean that they will use it. That is true, but taking, putting that aside, think about it, would you like to go to a country who has like this resort? You're being treated like a, like, like a guinea pig. You have to go there for that country's own sake. You're giving them money for your own sake, for their sake. But think about it. If you if you go there, nobody would like to be treated like an animal. Of course, Ray Gun deserves our praise because she is representing the Australian people. As remember, they're being watched by millions of people, and to represent an entire country, she is praiseworthy. Of, of course, maybe you say that. Raygun's just like spreading her culture, like just spreading the Australian culture and representing her pro country. But according to another recent news story, Indian people are actually defecating on the beach and it's, they say that it's, it's spreading their culture, but then that's just ruining the beach for other tourists. And the other side. I don't see how talking about Indian beaches connect with uh, hip hop because hip hop is a type of dance that people will like to do. Maybe hip hop is danced in a different way in um, Australia. Not every single country has the exact same type of whatever that dance is called. She said that anyone who goes in the Olympics deserves praise. Sure they do, but I mean they don't deserve praise. If, if like break dancing just like went into the Olympics and got canceled because of her and she spent her whole life training for that and all the other break dancers in like North America all yelling at her because of that. It's her fault that she maybe messed up but she should still be praised for actually going up because if, because if we asked you to go up in front of millions of people to break dance I'm pretty sure you might get a panic attack or mess up a bit and you might do something similar. Well, yes, of course America is ready for its first um, female president because think of it, we've gone so far as to make let slave people become free people, so why can't we do that with women who used to like who used to do all these chores in the past and give them the freedom that they deserve? Well, no, because if you look at it, women, they were like born and raised with like sunshine and rainbows. And right now there's like a lot of war going on. Women can also fight in war. Women also make up like 50% of the population, while men also, of course, they're there. But if we had no women in this world, then 50% of the population would be gone. Okay, so well, you can look at it at that perspective, but my perspective is that women are gonna ruin the whole thing. So we can see now, like, okay, let's see, it's true though, when Donald Trump was in the office, there was no wars, and then when there was less capable president, like, like in the war perspective. When you think of gender stereotypes, of course, you might think of women as weak people, but at the same time, there's not everyone, like some professional female boxers, for example. Okay, well look, Here's the reality. Um, even okay, you talked about like female boxers. The reason why they have their separate categories is because they know that they can't compete with the men. They just make better decisions. Oh. Oh. They have where girls and boys 
boys are in some team. Boys are in I also think team. that women shouldn't be in the office because they're less capable than men. You can see in the statistics, a lot of women are just like, don't have jobs, they're like lazy around uh, and sitting on the couch all day. And I don't think they have the capabilities and responsibilities to rule over a nation with so much uh, value to the world. They're gonna mess it up. And where do you think you would get that information from? Uh, I'll get it online. You Statistically, 98% of all things were invented by men. Yes, which but makes why are you also invented? Wi-Fi itself was invented by a woman. When you wow. think of other things, such as chocolate chip cookie, before. No. Well, no, 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 no. Wi-Fi was invented by a crew. Consider more of Time's up. Women. Let's give it up.